All right, so for the pocket facing, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pin it on. So I'm going to pin this on the right sides together. Right, and then I'm going to sew a half inch um, around the opening, um, and I'm going to sew this by hand. Um, you can also sew this by machine, it's up to you. Um, so I will get back to you when I've done that. Okay, so the pattern markings on the pattern show, and I don't know if you can see this, let's see if I can zoom in. There's like a little peak right here, and there's like a little peak right here, and there's also one down here, which I've already folded this up, 
and right here. Yeah, I folded it up. Um, and this is going to be the, the bottom channel. But basically, what you do is you're going to make pin tucks um, up the pocket. So let me zoom back out and show you what I'm going to do. So. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pinch this pin tuck right here and the fold is going to be right at the top of that uh, little triangle. So I'm going to pinch it like that and roll the fabric until the fold is right at the top of that peak and then I'm going to pin it. Okay. Now you can also mark this on the fabric um, and like a disappearing ink or whatever you want to mark it with um, to clearly map out where that fold should be. But I kind of like to free ball it. So um, I'm, doing, I'm going to mark or pin this side as well. Let me pull it out here. And then we're going to take both pins in my hand and I'm going to pull it like so. And I'm going to fold it over on itself and kind of crease it down with my fingers. And then a little ways away from that folded edge, I'm going to pin it. So I'm going to pin it right here. And this one, I know, I'm off camera. So right here, this one, I'm going to pull it out. And I'm going to pin it down a little bit further in the fabric. So I'm going to come over here. And pin it there. And here. Just to keep this fabric from shifting is really all I'm doing. So then when I push the fabric down, I have actually taken more than my channel that I need. So that's, this is what it looks like pinned. And this will actually fold down as well whenever I get my boning channel in there. So now I'm going to do the third boning channel. So we're going to go back to the wrong side of the fabric. And again, I'm going to start over here with this little peak. And I'm going to fold the fabric on the peak. Place. And then over here, I'm going to do the same thing to make sure that the fold is at the very height of that peak. Okay. And I'm going to pick up both pins in my hands and fold it like so. And I'm going to finger press it down. And I'm going to pin a little ways away from that folded edge. And then this actually creates the third pin tuck, or the third bone channel, in one of my pocket hoops. Alright, so now what I'm going to do, is I'm going to pull it back there. And then this is the opening, where you would stick your hand in it. And this is the pocket hoop folded up. Now this is not the correct distance for the um, the boning channels to be. Um, it is flat on one side and rounded on the other. So when you look at it on end, right here, you can see, but it's slightly rounded on the bottom and flat on the top. And uh, it actually cuts very easily with your craft scissors, not your sewing scissors, but craft scissors. Um, and it's pretty flexible, especially if you get it wet, and it actually steams um, straight, or it steams in curves, and it steams, nonetheless, very nicely. So I have a really long piece, so let me, there, I have a really long piece of it, um, just so that it sticks out on both sides of my pocket hoop, and I use it as the guide to sew my channels. So all I do is I flip it over to the back side because that's where my stitching is going to be. Okay. And it doesn't matter how you insert the boning in there. Yep, it doesn't matter how you insert the boning in there as long as it's inserted in there. 
and it will give me a stitching guide to sew that bony channel. So um, I chose to sew my pocket hoops all by hand, which is certainly an endeavor to say the least. But if you want to sew these boning channels with a modern sewing machine, by all means go ahead. And you can also use a zipper foot. So right now I'm looking at the front, so right side up. Okay, but right here is the back side of the fabric. So what I would do is now that my boning is in there, now that my boning is in there and it's pinned, I just take the needle and thread and sew right along this little ditch. And then um, this is actually my salvage or my seam allowance to put on the bottom of the back. So I'm going to go ahead and sew all of these and I will come back. Okay, so I've gotten done a little bit more than I expected I was going to. Um, I have gotten all of the boning channels sewn. So I'll zoom in so we can see that. So like I said, I inserted the boning into this uh, channel right here and then sewed uh, with kind of large running stitches because this is not really going to receive very much tension um, all the way across. Um, and then up here, which is just the facing, so like the last, the last you saw was um, I had pinned it on right sides together and then I sewed a half inch around the opening and then on the back side I then turned under the raw edges and uh, just uh, sewed them down with like a little bit of a whip stitch. Um, so that's currently where we're at. So now I'm going to move on to the bottom of the pocket hoops. So that is this piece right here. And on the pattern markings it has a teeny little bit of a notch at the top. So what I'm going to do is with right sides together I'm going to fold this equally in half to find the center, which is right here. Um, and I'm going to open it back up and mark it with my finger and then with my fabric here with right sides together I'm going to match up that itty bitty little notch with the center of uh, that, the, the center bottom of the pocket hoops so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pin it all the way around and after, I, after I've done that I will come back. Now I have gotten the bottom of the bag on, so the opening is right here with the facing, and this is the very bottom of the bag, so it's kind of like a squared off U shape or a, a D shape. All right, and I am going to sew that, and when I get done with that, I'm going to repeat this step on the next one, on the other pocket hoop. Okay, so I have gotten the bottoms sewn on. And since this is quite a curve, I'm thinking I'm going to clip the seam there and turn it right side out and see what that looks like. I may not actually need to clip that seam. So no, I'm thinking it'll be all right. 
So I'm going to go ahead and put on the back piece, which is going to be the piece resting against the thigh, or my thigh. I'll turn this back inside out. It's like this. So for the bottom piece I just sewed on, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fold it in half and find the center, which there's like a little notch there, which I did not see before, but now I see it. So there's a little notch there, and with right sides together, I'm going to put notch to notch right here and then pin it all the way around. And I'll be back when I've done it. Alright, so now the only place that I have open is the top of the bag and also the, the split where the, uh, the hand will go. Okay? And I'm hoping that's right. Because this doesn't really look right, but I'll consult the pattern and see if it's right. <laughs> Alright, so I have the back piece pinned on and I'm going to sew it on. But when I sew it, I'm going to be sure to tops. I'm going to be sure to stitch. I'm going to be sure when I stitch that I don't stitch closed these boning channels just yet, because I still want to be able to insert my boning into the channel. And if I have it stitched closed, I can't put them in there. So I'm going to sew around one side and sew closed the boning channels, and then I'll insert the channel, the bones and then clip them to size, and then I will sew closed the other side. Now, I know that's counterproductive to what I just said, but I want to make sure that I can still get to the channels, the bones in the channels is, is the main point. So I'm going to go ahead and sew one side and then stop, and then I will uh, sew the other side when I get the bones into the channels. And when I, I'll come back when I get that done. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've sewed around two edges of my the back of my pocket hoop so this is the the top and this is the bottom and this is still open over here and I'm gonna go ahead and insert my boning into my into my boning channels I'm gonna cut it to size cut it to length and then I'm going to sew it closed so let, wish me luck in cramming that underneath of the sewing machine. And I have decided to not continue to hand sew all of this for the sake of time. I am going to go ahead and machine sew it. Um, it's just so much faster and easier. And I mean, it's going to be underneath my costume anyways. Nobody's going to see it, so just I'm just going to machine sew it. It is so much faster and, and less of a headache. So um, I just only hope that I don't live to regret making the decision of not hand sewing the entire the entire thing. So we'll see. <laughs> 
we'll see how my conscience is later. So I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of my boning and I'm going to cut it to size and insert it into my channels. And then I'm going to sew up this, um, this seam and then we will head on to finishing the top and the bias binding waistband uh, to tie them on. So I'll be back when I've made some fun. Okay, so I turned the bags right side out and then inserted the bones into the channels and then I sewed up the open bone channels. So now I am going to move on to putting the waist tie on and gathering up the top of the bag. So for pleating the top of the pocket, there is a little, a little, uh, little pattern indication right there. And on the folded edge of the pocket, I am going to line it up with that little mark and I'm gonna pin it. Right there, okay? So then I'm gonna go over to this corner here and I'm going to pin down, or pinch down the corner and then I have all this extra that I need to pleat in and that's supposed to be taken in in three pleats and the pleats are supposed to face this way so outwards I think and then you're supposed to line up the edge of the fabric with the back of the pocket to the front of the So line up the, yep, so I have it pinned at the very center of the back of the pocket piece. There's a little notch there. And then you're supposed to pinch and pleat in this extra fabric towards this seam allowance over here. Okay, so now my pleats are too large because you're supposed to take them in three pleats. what it looks like from the back. This is the front being pinned. Here it kind of reminds me of the top. This new shape kind of reminds me of a dumpling. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of a dumpling. And then you're supposed to baste it um, to where the pleats are basted into place. And then we will work on attaching the lace band.
make another weekend for all my friends. Okay, so I made some bodies binding and bound one side of the top of the pocket and then I turned it under and I have pinned it and I'm going to sew along this folded edge to keep this open like a track so I can thread in the waist tie. So I'm going to go ahead and sew that real quick. You can also machine sew it, but I'm going to sew it by hand. Alright, now I'm going to peek on the other side. 